make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. The Mud Volcano at Yellowstone is located in Hayden Valley, an excellent spot to see wildlife at the park. It's not a true volcano in that it doesn't produce lava. Notice the gathering thunderclouds. The boardwalk for the mud volcano is only a half mile, but we were hoping to do the whole circle before the storm hit, us and about 200 of our closest friends. Like everything in Yellowstone, this place was busy too. Do not be fooled. Not the sizzling reason. We were moving quickly and we weren't turning around to go back. Also, the direction we chose to do the loop meant the mud volcano was at the end of our hike. That's amazing. Is that the mud volcano? No. What? This is not the mud volcano. What is it? Sizzling. This feature is called the Churning Cauldron, and it's near the top of the mud volcano area. Yeah, they don't want you over there. I wonder why. Is that the mud volcano? That's not the mud volcano. What's it say, Graham? Can you read it? Sour Lake. We are trying to beat the rain back to the car. We'll see if we do it. Here you go, a fumarole. There you go, mom. It's gr grizzly fumarole. Can we all just reflect for a minute on that bison we just walked right past? I hustled my children along and of course then had to stop and take a picture. Guys, that was definitely not the recommended two school buses away. Let me guess, this is the mud volcano. This is the mud volcano. We had to brave storms, wild animals and tourists, but we finally made it to the mud volcano. After spending some time getting ice cream at the Fishing Bridge store, we headed down toward the East Gate. Hopefully, we would see a grizzly. Okay, you're looking down over this hillside, and there's all these dead trees, I assume pine trees, and there's a whole bunch of new pine trees growing up underneath them. And this whole hillside is like this. I'll swing around past the bathroom here. And I have to ask a ranger why this has happened. Dead trees at Yellowstone are the result of fire and insects, among other things. This is the Lake Butte Overlook, by the way. 
Well, you can also see some of the islands here in Yellowstone Lake. Again with the dead trees. You can boat on Yellowstone Lake, however it can be risky. The water is cold even in summer and sudden gusts of wind can create three to five foot waves. Yeah, this seems much more wild over here, right? All right, viewers, right in the middle of the screen down there, that brown dot is a grizzly bear. You can't see it very well here on the phone. We did get a chance to see it on a spotting scope. Looks like he's digging around in the ground there for some grubs or something, but that is a grizzly. Yes, an actual grizzly bear. Katie jumped when she saw the bear in the spotting scope. Speaking of spotting scopes, we bought an inexpensive one from Amazon, and once we learned to use it, it was nice to have. It's by no means a professional model, but it's pretty good for a layperson. I'll put a link in the description. Since we were already this far out, we decided to go through the east entrance to the park. This place out here is pretty isolated. Yellowstone's as big as Rhode Island and Delaware combined, so it makes sense that there's all kinds of different geography. Beautiful, but lonely. So many different types of terrain in one park. On this one day in July, we saw Norris Geyser Basin, Yellowstone Canyon, the Mud Volcano, Yellowstone Lake, and a grizzly at the east entrance. You need time to explore these amazing places, and as we've said before, we really didn't plan enough. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, and comment below.